about here. Oh, wait, we have to talk about predictions. Um, how do you have so much energy so early? I am delirious. <laughs> I'm going to bet at, like, two. Um... Uh, Wolfie the Rex is in four minutes, not 15. Ah, I'm the world champion here. I think I know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Um, <laughs> character in 15, baby. It's a world champ difference. All right, let's talk about what to expect. I'm not going to look at chat because it will distract me. Um, Diamond and Pearl. My prediction is that this is a straight, pretty much, remake. Um, uh, pretty much. Um, in the sense that I think there will be some new features. I think they will have, like, some new things. Um... However, I think that because Game Freak is not developing it, my prediction is that maybe there's some new stuff, but I think that it's pretty much, like, more of a remaster than anything. Like, some features improve. We don't have Gen 4 HP bars, obviously. Um, all the, like, Gen 4 basically with Gen 8 mechanics and, and a couple additional features to get people to be like, oh, it's not really a, you know, a straight remake. But I think, effectively, um, yeah. Someone asked in the chat, Battle Frontier, yes or no? What you have to understand is that Pokemon has not been making good main series Pokemon games, so my prediction is no Battle Frontier. Um, that's my prediction. Um, and then for Legends Arceus, I don't know what to expect. People are expecting, people are going to be pissed, um, because it's not going to be Breath of the Wild. Again, yeah, it's not going to be Breath of the Wild, but it might be Monster Hunter, right? It could be, like, Monster Hunter, or, like, I don't know, a different game like that. It's not, it's not going to be Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is a really, really, really good video game, right? Um, it's not going to be Breath of the Wild, but it's still going to be really cool is my prediction. So, um, those are kind of my expectations around the game. I would love to see how those change. Um, I might, I would love to be proven wrong. People keep being like, are there going to be Megas and Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think if you want Megas, your best bet is Gen 9, personally. I just don't see them adding it mid-Gen, especially in a game that's probably, um, like, I don't know. Yeah, all I care about is the is the battle factory. If you if you get, uh, I don't I'm I'm not even, I'm not asking for a lot, right? I don't I don't expect Gen Eight mons. I don't expect any mons after Gen Four, um, in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I don't expect really a good video game. All I expect, all I expect really, and I I mean this seriously. Um, the literally the only thing I hope, the only thing I'm asking for, I'm not asking for a lot. Don't I don't care if it's a good game or not. All I care about is give me the battle the battle factory. That's my favorite mini game Pokemon. Oh, it's too early. I can't eat my oatmeal. I brushed my teeth. Now I have teeth brush mouth. Samuel, Camel, thank you for the fifteen uh for the seven months. Fifteen minutes to the direct. Yeet. It's actually two minutes. Just kidding. It's actually fifteen minutes. Someone in chat says clown, clown, clown. Imagine playing Pokemon. Not our chat. The general cat chat. Loki, thank you for the fifteen months. Um, wow, good name pick. That Loki's very popular right now. Uh, your prime number is thirty four. Uh, Splat, thank you for the seventeen months. Dynamax in Gen four. I don't think so. I mean, maybe, maybe, but I don't think so. Do you think they'll have fairy type in? Yeah, I think it will be like if you put gen like, like gen eight mons, gen eight mechanics, everything in a gen four game. Will VGC transfer the gen four remakes? Nobody knows, but um, but I expect no. That's my that's my prediction. But I could be wrong. I, I mean, like I don't know. These are just guesses, right? Megas, I think no. There's no battle factory in Sword and Shield. I wish there was. Will there be more fire types? Yeah, maybe the, maybe maybe they'll update the Pokedex or something. I don't know. Maybe platinum Pokedex. Oh hey, thank you for the fourteen months. North Nerf Cynthia. Would you like to Dynamax Smeargle? I would like to Dynamax the Pokemon that does smush the Smeargle. Alright, is it starting for you guys? It's not starting for me. Let me know search for you all, because it's not starting for me. <laughs> Stewie, Eddie, thank you for five months. Justin, you're up early. <laughs> oh, here we go. I just flashed. Thank you for the thank you for the 17 months, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, I might come to Philly. Do you want to hang out? I know you're not in Philly, but Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, so loud. Why is it so loud? Ah, my ears. For a second, I was like, oh, my, my screen isn't recording. Oh, actually, this might not work. Hold on. I think I think I think OBS is bugged. Hang on. 
Oh, uh, where's display capture? Shoot, hang on, I forgot this doesn't work. Yeah, it's not working, hang on. Okay, okay, it's fine, hang on. I can fix this, I can fix this. Okay, and then I'll just open up. One second. Just remember this, of course. Yeah, it doesn't work. I forgot. Yeah, it should work. Okay. okay, cool. You all can see this, right? Agree? You can see this? You can see this? Agree? Any confirmers? Yep. Okay, cool. It's, it's moving, right? It's moving. For you, 25, 24. All right, chat. Here we go. What are your predictions? Let me know. 20 seconds. Not anymore? Wait, you can't see? Can you not see? It's moving or no? I can't see because whenever I do this, this is what happens. What? This is- I can't even read these numbers! Alright, cool. Ready? Regional forms? Ah, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think they're- Yeah, they probably had a couple new Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is Pikachu. How's the- I hope- Are the audio levels good? from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, nice we'd shirt. like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon blah, Unite. You know, blah. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. <laughs> In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. What is this name? Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Audio Pokemon still good? Unite. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. <laughs> Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope Wait, you'll I all pre-register and look forward to the mobile That's release. That's like when they released Endeavor Raichu for Worlds, like before Worlds 2016 because of the Pikachu Cup. Players who are quick and then I won Worlds with it. The Nintendo Switch version that has already been released you guys know that story. can also it's receive crazy. Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. I'm pissed. I the Unite Zero license players. can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join okay, in future this should be updates. Cool. This should be cool. Oh, Mamoswine! That's cool! <laughs> That's super cool! Go, Mamoswine. Stomp on the ground. Oh, Sylveon! Wait, this is wait, these are cool mons. Trans rights, let's go! Can you be shiny, Sylveon? Oh. Oh, she she absolutely killed him. Wait, that's sick! I didn't expect- I didn't know they were releasing- they were announcing new mods. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Oh, oh my god, they're doing it! Pokemon Cafe Mix! Pokemon Cafe Mix is getting a revamp. And with it, a new title! Necra! Pokemon Cafe Hell yeah. Remix. Hell yeah. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements. With Never, I'm sorry, I'm still not playing. I'm, 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 I'm cool to hear puzzle you. Icons. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed yeah, this puzzle is game Pokemon is sure Pokemon. to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Pokemon Master Sex? Oh, and then his rest. And what is that outfit? You got it, bro. You need. Oh my god. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. You're doing great, but it's Pokemon Masters X. Come on. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusu Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Actually, Eternatus it's Eternamaxing. Actually, it's not Dynamaxing when Eternamax does that for me. It's Eternamaxing. 
Also, that is the most broke. Eternus Act hand for me. Two year anniversary of Pokemon Masters is yet. the most broken mod the ever created, except for maybe Zernius. at no cost. Plus, it has like its own base stats. Legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with I'm not installing this game. Who has Zernius? Be returning in a special outfit as part no, of the Master Sync pair. And in his Pokemon are so able to outfit. target all opponents with their attacks. Like that N made Look cafe forward for to me. seeing N as well as other two year anniversary sync pairs soon. Then, starting in September, a new story Ooh. arc unfolds. Rainbow Rocket. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. No, you a dark turn for a Pokemon game. We have plenty of other events and Pokemon exciting Master content sex. planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Okay. Oh, Pokemon Go. Now we're smoothing. Back to my own game. Pokemon oh, Gen 5? Go, which is celebrating its fifth anniversary, will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the what? wild. What? The Ultra Ultra <laughs> Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. local time. Gen 5 gets Players love. can look forward to seeing Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in five-star raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the I'm real Hoopa, world will only continue to grow in Pokemon Go. I hope Hoopa uses Hoopa Blast. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. All right, here we go. The audio levels are not down well for this. It's now way louder than what we were expecting it to. Gen 4 starters are great. Okay, that's the trailer. Good job, good job, good job. All right, here we go. Ooh, I remember that. Oh, the combi tree. I remember that tree. This is where Darkrai is. What's that guy's name? Rowan? Oh. All I want to know is the fog in this game. Oh, Weasel. Raptor, okay. Oh, Pokemon are following you, okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty, but they haven't shown anything new, right? Like, it's, uh, I think it's correct. I think it's just a remake. Oh god, please show something. Please show something, please. Okay, yes, it's pretty, but like... Stickers? Oh, I love- these things that- why do they remove this? This is such a good feature. Probably because you can say things like you can't or whatever. But there was a bunch of letters. I remember this. Oh, they brought this back. Uh, it might be better than freaking Festival Plaza or whatever we have right now. Why? Oh. oh, you can drip out your trainer? Okay. Super contest? Okay, Battle Frontier. Please! Okay, underground. Here we go. Oh, underground is so lit. Guys, I don't think there's any new features. <laughs> this mini game is so fun. I don't. I don't care what you said. This is the most fun mini game. Oh yeah, secret bases. God, secret bases are so cool. Underground is so lit. Wait, whoa, this is new. Hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is new. This is new. This is new. Notice though, I have only seen Gen Four Pokemon Gen Four, right? Oh, no, the music ended. Oh, 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 maybe something new? Who's <laughs> like Clamera came from space handed over? <laughs> okay, okay. 
Okay, this is very pretty. Wait, maybe there's a scorch world? Maybe? Maybe it's possible. Don't let the music end. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Empty all game. Alright, uh, are they gonna be primal? Primal Dialga? Primal Primal Valkia? No, this is basically. Oh no! Oh, Pokemon fans are gonna be mad! Oh, they're gonna be so mad, I was right! Oh no! Oh no, Pokemon fans! Look away! <laughs> the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three I months right. away. I was Let's right. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Oh no. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land this. rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. I have you'll also encounter really traces this. of the Sinnoh region's myths, Pass down through the generations and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be Barry! This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills Barney. as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. Bark is one of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uses rock type Pokemon. They're showing a gym. Oh, Everywhere it's you eight. look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. What are her hair things? I didn't even notice that before. So Gameplay features from Pokemon okay, Diamond they, and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped. It looks like they updated the underground, which is like games. that is worth. That is good. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places Wait, down there called like... Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond and yeah, Pokemon cool. Pearl. Wait, Apparently, is it only statues or can you still do like, traps and, and stuff? Because that was the whole fun, like making like, little traps. Depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base, it seems oh. that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So there's be no sure to fully explore the grand underground spread out that's beneath cool. the surface of Sinnoh. But there's no, there's no, I'm only seeing Gen 4 mods, which is, I mean, what expected. You can use the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize this feature the is so fun. that appear when If you Pokemon haven't played, if you haven't messed around with this feature, I promise you it's so cool. Such as confetti or fireworks. I wish this was in every game. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon I mean, there's no post Gen 4 mod. Ah, mods. Yeah, I saw how new. I know it's not in the big decks. One new feature types, that yeah. was not available in Pokemon okay, Diamond and really Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite Wee. styles on your adventure. In super contest shows, oh, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm I of the music, for a lot. I wasn't proudly for a show off a contest move, it's not over yet. and aim for a successful this is show. Denied. Denied. What's the Cooperate phase of depression? With your partner Pokemon to I'm really in work up Wait, the no. crowd. No, it's not depression. What is it? The five stages of grief? I'm in the depression in the or the denial room, phase. This release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. Yeah, I'm in the Please denial phase. Maybe it'll show up. And Pokemon trades with many other trainers. 
you can walk around with any of the Pokemon that appear in these games. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say it. Enjoy this is never a feature I care about. With your they're like, Pokemon. they're always like, oh, your Pokemon can follow you. And it's like, I don't care. It doesn't change the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Do people care? Like, okay, yes, it's cute and fun. Like, I get that's like a nice cosmetic, but it's only a cosmetic, right? It doesn't change anything. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. I might pass on this one. I just, like, okay. Is, she, is it over? Please wait just Here's a bit the thing. longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. If I wanted to play a, a remake, Nintendo Switch I would play Platinum. Zelda and Palkia Edition will also be released. That's the thing. The like, if this game isn't, doesn't have the Battle Frontier, they remade the worst Nintendo version of the game. Dressed up with art you know what I'm saying? Like, if it doesn't, if it, if it doesn't have the Pokemon Platinum features, which it doesn't look like it's going to have it, then what? Like, they Yoga literally made an Palkia inferior Edition version of the game. Was released back in 2006 there was a Gen 5 one, which one? I didn't see it. It will I don't care about the cheese. The cheese style is fine. I think, I think it looks 5th, like a nice game. Like, pretty, visually, it's pretty. Look forward but if it doesn't have the Battle Frontier... Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon... Then it's, worse, it's a worse Arceus game than Platinum, and I will rather than playing this, I will be playing Platinum on stream. Oh! Now's the game. This is the game. Oh, well, the cynical. Crash. No, sorry, dog. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, no! This is a tale of a time long ago when the- oh, the text is too fast. But do from Starly, okay. It's too quiet again. Super. I don't <laughs> <laughs> no, me when I play Pokemon today. Oh, they got Crobat in this game. Oh, they got Mushroom in this game. Ooh. Wait, hold on. They made Luxury look as cool as it feels when you're a kid. They actually made Luxury look really cool. Oh, Drapion? I like how big the Pokemon that are, like, they look like- Oh, Probopaz!
There's more? Ooh, that man. Ooh. All right. Thoughts? Because I think that looks sick. I think it actually is looking... I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but... <gasps> Soon. We have a date. I think it looks. I think it looks. That I, the latest trailer. I think that looks Pokemon pretty Legends high. Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. I think that looks really cool. I still don't really know what I'm Pokemon getting into Legends here, but Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title Arceus, that opens new doors for the jail. Pokemon I mean, I know they by fusing to be clear, action they tell with you RPG how to say it, elements. But... Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. <laughs> during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments First of all, surrounding looks really the mountain great, on all right? sides. That, like, these are really nice. I mean, these different nice. areas are home like, to a rich nice. variety of Pokemon well, ecosystems. Lately, I have a song for that. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. Mm. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. If you want to stop Big Psyduck, I didn't. No, I'm looking for it. Jubilee Village and the, the bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your like adventures. Galactic. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other like regions, with divisions such as the Medical Ooh, Corps, Abra. the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is this the ecology the of Pokemon. This guy's the villain. He came to the Hisui region alone oh, with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. But he looks like the villain, right? Laventon's not Captain a tree. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. This Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, yeah. oh, she, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Commodo oversees now, this the guy, entire easy galaxy villain, team. Obviously. He's a dependable leader who has no, earned the unwavering trust of his team members. Like when the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. The duty of the Survey Corps Sajin. is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Well, your map not that big, Your excursions huh? outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out <laughs> doing like your survey work. <laughs> when your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. I don't even. What I like about this game is that at the moment it looks Once like I can just completed beat the Pokemon a survey on myself. assignment. Return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. I want to play a Pokemon game where you don't have Pokemon, but you fight them like in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's like a fighting game, you know. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim Can carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try Can to catch go? them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when Beat they spot you. For example, so some right Pokemon now. will immediately flee, so you'll Come want here, to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, ah! may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. What did I say? Someone said, isn't that just Monster Hunter? Didn't I say that? I said, we're gonna get Monster Hunter when they wanted Breath of the Wild. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon oh, and a battle will begin. Level 59? You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. Oh. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles. Ooh. Strong style and agile Ooh. style. I thought it was Using a deep. move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. This better on one shot. Okay, yeah, no way. Let's catch 
Final Fantasy X? When you oh. report the results of your survey work to the professor, Pretty information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek Charlie out good. lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Will Pokemon give us CGC for Legend Arceus? No. Bronzor. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon I will in see this is where I'm natural hyped. environments that are spread out across oh, the Oh, this is such a cool region. design. I really this like that. This Pokemon with distinctive <gasps> antlers is known as Weirdeer. It is a Weirdeer, Weirdeer I agree. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated Absolutely. with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. I like this Basculin so much. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. What? This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim Mr. on and on without tiring. There are that also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its Fairy great type? majestic Psychic? wings is the Hisui Fairy? form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power psychic. to generate shockwaves. Cool. Super cool. Braviary needs some love. This Pokemon, Steel which works with a partner, Steel. is the Hisui in form of Growlithe. Fire Steel. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisui and Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent soft. insulator, allowing it to stay active soft. and lively Who even in this chilly land. The horn effective. on its head is made of rock, but rock. it breaks easily, so Hisui and Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. Rock type growl. That's pretty good. That's actually Arceus sick. holds the key to this story. But what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day I when love you can finally meet the people Basculegion is so of the Hisui lit. region for yourself. Also, Fire Rock is Oh, it's Macargo. Fire Rock is oh my god, Fire Rock is the worst typing. Oh my god. I forgot about Macargo. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. What is this music? Pre-orders for Pokemon what? Legends Arceus, Pokemon Wait, what is, Million Diamond, and oh, Pokemon Colossal? Shining oh, yeah, Pearl Colossal. will become available but the typing's on Nintendo not good. I hope, I hope Growlithe has steam ended. Cast. Might just be pure rock? I don't know. It said that it only uses the thing on its head like, as an emergency. It means it's kind of furry soft, so it can't Pokemon be. Rocks. The cloud service for Nintendo Switch and Ah, Nintendo I see, I see. You can like transfer your mods from Arceus to Diamond and Pearl, but I don't know if you'll be able to keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. I wonder if you can get like Basculesian and Sword and Shield, you know? You probably will be able to, right? As for the ranked battles that so many of you continue to enjoy, these will take place as before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Worlds we hope you all have confirmed. fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Competitive play on Sword and Shield. Okay, World 2022 in, in Sword and Shield. If there Those is, are all one. the latest updates we can share with you today. That's fine. That's all. We don't want to play Gen 4. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures it's fine. to come. It's, it's probably for the best, to be honest. We Thank don't. You, you, don't you don't want to play Gen 4 meta. Trust, trust, trust. Wait, is that it? Oh, that's it, right? Are we done? So VGC is dead? No, they they literally just said <laughs> VGC will remain on uh on Sword and Shield. Are we done? Well, okay. What did you think, chat? I guess this is where actually maybe before I one second before we talk about that, I guess this will go on YouTube as well. So I should I should share my thoughts. Yeah. I, Hello, was... friends. Welcome back to another episode here on. Oh, hey Lee. Um. Um. My, I mean, I, it's pretty much exactly what I expected, right? <laughs> like, realistically. Like, exactly, exactly what I, and like, I think I said beforehand, like, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know much about Monster Hunter, so I don't know if that was, like, expected, but it's not, it's not Breath of the Wild, right? Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I, I honestly, legend, it's exactly like, in that, uh, Diamond, Diamond of Pro Remake looks... I'm not excited for it, to be completely honest. Like, if it does not have the Battle Frontier, I'm not kidding in that I would rather play Platinum. I might have to, as a content creator, play through the games again. But, like, yeah, I don't I don't know. I think that, uh, I think that it, it does not really give me much to be excited for, right? Because they already have another version. Like, if they're remaking the inferior version of the game, then 
Um, yeah, that I, I don't really see the pull. Like, I'm, it doesn't really, it doesn't excite me at least, you know? Um, however, Brilliant Diamond Shining Arceus. Now, Arceus looks good. Arceus looks really good, in my opinion. It's it's fresh. It's exciting. The fact that they're adding new mons, and I think is like they didn't need to do that, right? Like the the novelty of, um, the novelty of um, of the game, I think, did not require a new Pokemon to be added into it, right? Um, and so, like, I was excited thinking that it was only going to be Gen Four mon. So the fact that, um, on top of being you know this new style, they also um, they also decided to add new Pokemon in. I think that, to me, is very exciting because it isn't necessary, and to me, it, it indicates that they might be doing more than we expect, right? And I think as, as Pokemon fans, our expectations aren't super high, right? Well, if you're if you're basing it on the, you know, <laughs> on the past, it shouldn't be super high. Um, yeah. So I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Legends Arceus is going to be like a game, you know, a, a game changer. I don't expect it to be something like as you know, big as Breath of the Wild, because it just doesn't really make sense to me for it to be something like that, right? Um, but I think it is exciting, especially, at, like, to get a good spin-off game. I mean, and, you know, United is also a spin-off game, so... But yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I think I think it's really cool, and I'm excited to... I'm excited to, to, to learn more. Um, so... Yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about... Um, about the Direct, honestly. 